hey guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl georgia it's georgia's lifestyle if it's your first time here welcome i'm gonna be showing you a mini lesson today that i'm gonna be teaching and it's all about polygons so at the end of this lesson my kids will be able to describe and classify polygons yes it's uh this is basically a mini lesson just a quick walk through of the procedure for this lesson for me as usual i start off my lesson with my kids being curious so i post um this powerpoint on the board they have to look at the pictures um tell me how are they the same how they think they are different etc then of course i pose them a problem sasha is sorting shapes how can she group them based on their attributes so they're going to be looking at the shapes and you know tell me what are the similarities what, the, what are the differences how could they separate them etc how could they group them so basically again telling me about the different attributes and of course as you can see sasha might sort them by whether they by whether the shape has straight lines or curved sides guys i don't know what's happening here with the position <laughs> of my camera but yeah this is basically um what i posted on the board and you know i went through this with my students and after this i played a video for them so this video basically taught them um, about polygons the characteristics of polygons what makes a shape a polygon etc they also learned um, about regular polygons and irregular polygons this lesson we will be talking about polygons and how to classify them polygons but what makes them a polygon polygons are closed figures with three or more line segments. These shapes are all examples of polygons. Notice that all of these are closed figures. That means that all of the sides are attached at a vertex. And they all have three or more line segments or sides. These figures are not polygons. The red and blue shapes have curved lines. Polygons do not have curved lines. The yellow figure has lines that intersect or cross each other. Polygons do not have lines that overlap. And the outline of the green figure is not closed. Notice that the lines are not connected at a vertex. Here are some common polygons with three sides all the way up to 10 sides. Here is a triangle where tri means three and a quadrilateral where quad means four, a pentagon where pent means five, and a hexagon where hex means six, a heptagon where hept means seven, and an octagon where oct means eight, a nonagon where non means nine, and a decagon where dec means 10. There are two types of polygons, regular and irregular. Regular polygons are equilateral and equiangular. Equilateral means that all of the sides are congruent. They are the same shape and size. And equiangular means all the angles are congruent. They are all the same measure of degrees. The equilateral triangle is a regular polygon. All three sides are the same length and all three angles are 60 degrees. This octagon is also a regular polygon. All eight sides are the same length and the eight angles are all 135 degrees. Irregular polygons have sides that are not congruent. That means they have side lengths that are not all the same length. They are also not equal angular. While some angles and sides might be the same size and shape, not all will be congruent. This parallelogram is an irregular polygon. It doesn't have four congruent sides and angles. And this hexagon is an irregular polygon. As you can see, the six sides are definitely not all the same length. We can draw diagonals in polygons to help us find the sum of interior angles. 
So after they watched the video and we did some examples on the board, we had discussions, etc., to see and to understand what they learned. This was the culminating activity. This was what they did at the end. Um, and of course, I forgot to mention that I do teach grade three. So this was a grade three level uh, worksheet where they had to color um, the shapes that are polygons, regular polygons right because all the shapes here are polygons but they are to sh uh, circle or color just the ones that are polygons so like i said before this is, was, was just a mini lesson let me know in the comment section if you liked it um have you taught this lesson before how would you have done it and once again thank you for watching another video make sure to give this video a thumbs up yes give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment and share it with somebody who you know teaches grade three or teaches grade two and yeah could use this <laughs> thank you so much for watching again much love and god bless you